When I started working with AI images, I kept hitting the same wall. As you might have experienced too, I got a great shot with an amazing character in one image and then completely lost that character in the next one. And these changes made it impossible for me to tell a clear story or build content around a single character. That's where a full consistent character sheet comes in. It lets you recreate the same recognizable person every time, no matter the pose, scenery or scenario. And with this, you unlock all the powerful tools inside Design AI. You can now position your character wherever you want, adjust your emotions to your liking, use a placeholder to fine tune their placement and even place two consistent characters in any environment you want. Hi, I'm Lenny Blond, today's host for this Design AI tutorial. So in this video, I will show you two ways to create a consistent AI character, one fast two-click method and one more advanced using a full consistent AI character sheet. Stick around till the end for a full tutorial link to my own channel. So let's start by training our character. So I'm going to click on the new project. Then I'm going to add my project name in here and I'm going to select 16 by 9. You can change this later if you want and hit apply. Then I'm going to click on the character icon and click on build your character. There are two main options here. The one on the right allows you to train your character using photos of yourself or AI generated images. But first, let's dive into how you can easily generate a character. I'll start by clicking here to give my character a name, then add my prompt in here. I created this prompt using ChatGPT and I've linked it in the video's description. All you need to do is choose a style and replace character type with your own idea, like blonde woman or an Asian girl. And now I'll click here to choose a style. And as you can see, there are plenty of options to pick from. For a realistic, consistent character, I recommend using the Design Realistic V2 or Design General model, both specially designed for realistic, consistent character training. So I'm going to select the general model and now I'm going to add the word tutorial to the character name and I'm going to hit generate. Now you can click the plus icon to take a closer look and if you're not happy with the result, click regenerate to create a new one. So I really like the close-ups, so I'll click the image to select it and then hit generate to start training. Now the character is ready and you can begin creating images by clicking here. To push it further, you can use this trained character to build a full consistent character sheet. At the end of the video, I'll compare both versions side by side. So to do this, I'll go to the character tab and select generate images. And then I'll click here to select my character. And here is the Emma tutorial we just made. I'm now going to rename this to Emma and hit save. And with Emma selected, I will use this scene description. And I'm going to select one to one aspect ratio. And now the real fun starts, because now we can select left view and close up and hit generate. And now we can see the created images here and they are perfect for my consistent character sheet. And now there's many options what you can do with it. And I'm gonna click on enhance and I have tried various upscale settings, but I got the best results if I set it to enhance, set it to portrait and leave it on creative. And now we can click here to compare it with the original. And I'm really pleased with the result. Now you can use back, front, side views, close ups and upper body angles to create even more shots. For the full body shot, I've got a little trick. So I will select front view and full body and I will add with arms spread wide open in a dynamic pose to the action and scene prompt box. And I will set the aspect ratio to 9 by 16. Now you can repeat the enhancement process and upload all the images into the character training tool. Ideally sized at 1024 by 1024 and 768 by 1024. Now I enter MACS and hit start training. When we compare them side by side, both consistent characters look great in terms of quality. But like with most AI models, the further the face is from the camera, the more it tends to lose detail. And in my full tutorial, I'll show you how to fix this using face swap. Since I always aim for the best quality, I'll use the Emma model trained on 15 images, though I'm honestly impressed by the quality of the faster model too. So now let's create an image with Emma CS. So to do this, I will click on generate images and now I can choose a character. And here I will select Emma CS. And now we can start creating images. First, I'll paste the text to image prompt I used before into the character description. The next prompt box is designed specifically for describing the character's action and the scenery. And now I'll hit generate to create the image. In design, new images appear here on the right side instead of directly on the canvas. Hovering over the images gives you a quick preview and the options below let you jump straight into various tools. For example, clicking on number two under the AI video tab takes you directly into the AI video tool with that specific image. All of these tools and more can also be accessed from the menu on the left side of the interface. Want to unlock the full power of Design AI? Like positioning your character wherever you want, adjust emotions to your liking, fine tune precise placement and placing two consistent characters into any scene, then make sure to watch this tutorial on my Digital Magic YouTube channel. 